हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इंटीग्रेटेड फिजिक्स स्टडीज आईपीएस एस एम ऑलरेडी प्लस टू सेकेंड इयर सिलेबस कंप्लीट कर सारी एवं मुझे प्लस थ्री सी बी सी एस अनलाइन क्लासेस भिडियोज गुड़ा अपलोड करी जदि भल लगे तेल लाइक करदेव और सब्सक्राइब करदेव जो भिडियोज गुड़ा मुझे अपलोड करी तार नोटिफिकेसन ये बेल आइकन को अल्रे सेट करदेव गोटे इंपोर्टे जिनस भिडियोज जो थ्री डट्स देखु तार क्वाटी ये देख बै डिफल्ट थ्री सिक्सटी अच्छी तुम ताक पढ़े कर क्लिक कर तुम रिजल्यूशन प्रति वीडियो जरे मु पीडीएफ लिंक देवी ताकु एटी ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट को तमे क्लिक करी डाउनलोड मध्य करी परबो पीडीएफ को लास्ट रे एटी जो मोर चैनल नेम अछि याकु क्लिक करी तमे एटी प्लेलिस्ट को जाई मु प्रति वीडियोस को यूनिट वाइज एज पर सिलेबस हो जाई कि रखेतिबी तमे सर्च करी परबो ओके थैंक यू हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आज रो टॉपिक रे हमें माइक्रो इलेक्ट्रो मैकेनिकल सिस्टम दैट इज एम ई एम एस ए विषय रे पढिबा सो दीज आर अ स्पेशल क्लास ऑफ सेमीकंडक्टर डिवाइसेस दैट एम्प्लॉय द मैकेनिकल फंक्शंस विद इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट्स एंड दिस एम ई एम एस टेक्नोलॉजी इन्वॉल्व्स द स्टडी ऑफ माइक्रो मैकेनिकल कंपोनेंट्स एंड सिस्टम्स व्हिच आर इंटीग्रेटेड विद द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स ऑन ए पैकेज टू अचीव हाई परफॉर्मेंस फंक्शनल सिस्टम्स ओके and this MEMS is also referred to as the micro machines or micro systems technology right the MEMS are made up of components between 1 to 100 micrometers in size and these devices are generally ranging from 20 micrometers to 1 mm and although the components arranged in arrays and it can be more than 1000 mm square okay now mems devices usually consist of a central unit that processes the data and several components that interact with the surroundings okay the fabrication of this mems is based on deposition of material layers and patterning by photolithography and etching method okay now mems devices can be made from silicon which is a semiconductor and this silicon is a material used to create many integrated circuits used in consumer electronics in the modern industry okay now it is attractive for a wide variety of mems applications due to its low cost okay so it, its cost is very less and high quality then readily available means easily available okay and it is an almost hookian material okay so hookian material means the material which obeys the hooke's law of elasticity so whenever it is flexed then there is virtually no hysteresis and almost no energy dissipation okay further it is reliable for highly repeatable motion because it suffers a little fatigue means weakens a little bit okay and it can have service lifetimes in the range of billions to trillions of cycles without any breaking okay so it has a very good efficiency right now mems devices can also be made from polymers and polymers can be produced in huge volumes with a great variety of material characteristics okay the mems devices which are made up of poly polymers are well suited to micro fluid applications okay micro fluidic applications like disposable blood testing cartridges okay so here mems devices which are made up of polymers are used okay now metals can also be used to create these mems devices okay metal can exhibit very high degree of reliability although they do not have some of the advantages which are shown by the materials like your silicon in terms of mechanical properties when they are used within their limitations okay so there is a certain limitation in case of your metals okay metals can be deposited by electroplating evaporation and sputtering process okay some of the metals like gold nickel aluminum copper then chromium titanium tungsten platinum and silver they can be used to create these mems devices 
now in mems fabrication the nitrides of silicon aluminum and titanium along with silicon carbide and other ceramics are used due to the advantages of these materials so aluminum nitride suppose it shows pyroelectric and piezoelectric properties then titanium nitride exhibits a high electrical conductivity along with large elastic modulus so these are used in sensors and mems here the basic processes are deposition processes then patterning lithography and etching okay mems devices contains mechanically movable parts that are used for sensing and controlling purpose okay mems played a very important role in the transportation communication and automated manufacturing then environmental monitoring health issues then different systems and other wide range of consumer applications okay mems structures can be used for the fabrication of electronic components then micro engines micro mirrors capacitors inductors and switches further the developments in micro fabrication technologies have enabled the miniaturization which is the process of making things smaller so the miniaturization of electromechanical devices along with their batch processing significantly okay also the mems based optical systems have been used as real heads in disk drives laser prints barcode readers and scanning machines okay now let us see some of the common commercial applications of these mems number 1 is the inkjet printers which use the piezoelectrics or thermal bubble ejection in order to deposit ink on the paper then number 2 accelerometers which are used in cars for a large number of purposes including the airbag deployment and electronic stability control okay then number 3 the mems accelerometers and mems gyroscopes which are used in remote controlled helicopters planes and drones okay that is the flying objects for automatically sensing and balancing their flying characteristics that is your roll pitch and yaw okay let me try to make it clear suppose this is a plane okay this is the plane having wings like this okay right so suppose this is a plane now the axis which is passing longitudinally will be called as roll right now the axis which is passing laterally this will be called as your pitch right and the axis which will be passing perpendicularly will be called as your yaw okay so these are the three basic flying characteristics of a flying object now further the mems magnetic field sensor is used in remote controlling the drones to provide directional heading okay then mems are used in inertial navigation systems for the modern cars airplanes submarines and other vehicles to detect the yaw pitch and roll like autopilot of a airplane okay then mems accelerometers are used in consumer electronic devices such as game controllers personal media players cell phones digital cameras and personal computers okay then mems microphones which are used in portable devices such as mobile phones headsets and laptops okay then mems silicon pressure sensors such as car tire pressure sensors and disposable blood pressure sensors which are used in respective fields okay then mems displays such as digital micro mirror device chips are used in the display system now moving on to the next point optical switching technology which is used for the switching technology and alignment for the data communications then we have the bio mems which are used in medical and health related technologies like bio sensor chemo sensors okay then micro machined ultrasound transducers such as radar and sonar so here transducers means these are the devices 
like radar and sonar which convert the energy into sound so these are used in various fields okay then the micro scale energy harvesting including the piezoelectric electrostatic and electromagnetic micro harvesters which are the applications of mems for the energy harvesting purpose and lastly the non invasive surgical tools cardiology related micro systems then drug delivery systems biomedical analysis then patient monitoring system artificial organs hydrocephalic sunds then artificial lenses digital implants pacemaker artificial heart components then skin electrode for ecg that is electro cardiogram then artificial joints which are the biomedical applications of these mems okay so this is all about the mems which i have taken from one book now this is what i have taken from another book which has some useful points like that of your mems technology which is actually introduced by professor r ho in the year 1989 and the mems devices actually consists of mechanical elements sensors actuators and electrical and electronics devices which are all fabricated on a single silicon substrate and here silicon is the suitable material for fabricating these mems devices due to its semiconductor physical and chemical properties and here actuators means these are the devices that convert the electrical energy into mechanical energy and vice versa okay so you can read it for your knowledge purpose and you should collect the important points that is given here also okay as you can see it has also given the advantages of mems along with the applications then finally it has given about the micro electro mechanical devices okay that is number 1 mems accelerator and number 2 will be the coated cantilever beams okay so i advise you to read it and collect the useful points and make your note accordingly okay thank you